Koinonia, a place of encounter with the Holy Spirit and transformation by the principles of God's kingdom. heard you sing this song and there's a part that you sang that I've not heard is a chant a very 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 powerful chant because many times chants carry the spirit of prophecy on them can you sing that part for us before you sit down very powerful Praise the Lord. I just sense before we sit down, there are people here, the Holy Spirit is speaking to you. You have tarried around the realm in the Spirit for a long time. There is a beckoning of the Spirit to go into very deep levels. I stretch my hands right now in the name of Jesus. Father, there are people who have operated around certain gifts at a level that is no longer profitable for the hunger and the desire of those who come to you in the name of jesus inside and outside i pray let there be a measurement of a thousand cubits and may you be pushed prophetically step into that new level in the name of jesus new level of prophecy new level of power in the name of jesus christ just help those under the anointing very powerful out of my belly shall flow to the nations healing revival miracles signs shalatos kalibara haskia shalabarado zedigedia and as the river flowed every fish that was dead when it came in contact with that water, it came back to life. It's a life-giving river. Hallelujah. In one minute, I'd like us to truly honor Minister Prosper. Let me tell you this. He's, he's a man, hold on please. He's a man that God has helped. God has taken his songs to the nations. And let me prophesy to you that in the name of Jesus Christ by the spirit of prophecy we measure a thousand cubits and we shift you to deeper realms for you and your team may you be the first partakers of this miracle service that your, your feet has stepped upon this ground in the name of Jesus every other nation that has not heard you I stand by the rod of the prophetic and the apostolic we open up the gates heater and theater in the name of Jesus Christ, 
greater songs from the spirit to bless the nations kings will honor you nobles will cast their crowns in honor of the grace of god upon your life in the name of jesus christ please let's honor minister prosper i love you thank you thank you thank you thank you hallelujah god bless you please be seated please be seated we have to hurry up there is a strong impartation going on at overflow one i don't know what it is with overflow one this night but there is a strong move of the spirit this is what i'm seeing i kept seeing light while i sat back here light just coming on them doesn't mean that god will not touch all everybody light you came for a miracle service it's not just a healing service a miracle service is a prophetic service a miracle service is a lifting service a miracle service is a restoration service a miracle service is an impartation service You must be very sensitive tonight we have come before the god of heaven we won't be here for long but there are no miracle services that are the same we are coming with our hearts desperate and hungry shall flow rivers rivers of living water ea, ea, ea. Out of my belly shall flow river rivers of living water the lord is ministering to me that there are 16 people they are carrying the healing anointing there is the grace for healing genuine healing i stretch my hands by the spirit of god inside outside the nations need the healing power of the spirit not only to receive but to be distributors some of you have seen this in your dream some of you you have been prophesied upon that moments will come and you will carry this power in the name of jesus healing stream contact the grace bring healings to communities bring healings to nations by the power of the holy ghost by the power of the Holy Ghost, by the power of the Holy Ghost. I'm still praying for the healing anointing. The healing ministry is part of the end time ministry. A body has now prepared for me. Satan is about destroying the bodies of men because your body is your legal authorization. Again, I declare, as many who must enter into this end time ministry of healing, let's restore the real anointing for healing. Genuine healing miracles. Father, let it fall like rain from heaven. Let it fall upon young and old, male and female, inside and outside. Take that grace in the name of Jesus. I'm under the shadow of your wings Your influence is all over me I'm under the shadow of your wings Your influence is all over me yeah. Taking the pain and the sorrow away You've 
given me peace undeniable There's no need to cry cause you're always with me You're my father, my everything Oh, man, my Lord, you took my pain away and then you gave me joy. You're my peace, my melody in the center of the storm. You gave me a brand new song to sing to you. That's why I will lift up my voice and sing. Yeah. Hallelujah. We'll be seated shortly, but in the name of Jesus Christ, I want to pray for a group of people that God is bringing speed. Now, I want you to hold them because they will begin to run out all over the overflows. Just bring them, direct them out. Father, for the years that have been eaten over the lives of people, canker worms, caterpillars, palma worms, I want to stretch my hands the grace for speed is going to fall on men and women some of them will begin to run physically I want you to help them so they don't injure themselves father in the name of Jesus as many who must drink of this grace I stretch my hands take that grace now speed to your destiny speed to your destiny speed to your destiny in the name of Jesus financial speed speed in your spiritual life speed in career i speak it by the spirit of grace in the name of jesus christ hallelujah i'm hearing the name joshua my namesake i'm hearing the name joshua This man I'm talking about is in overflow one. I'm going to pray for you. But the gentleman I'm seeing is at the back overflow one. The power of the Holy Spirit is strong here. There are two of you, the power of God is coming on you. This is the instruction God is giving me. Two of you here, standing. Right now as I'm speaking, there is a strong anointing. God is introducing you to dimensions of grace, dimensions of fire. Even by His Spirit, you will never be the same. He's activating something very strong upon your life. My friend shout Jesus as loud as you can Jesus! in the name of Jesus I stretch my hands there are chains that I'm seeing around your feet I cost those chains be free be loose from them now this gentleman in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord sets you free for every one of you what do you do yes huh I work in a bank. What do you have to do with a bank? I work in a bank now. Huh? I work with Zenit Bank. You work with? Zenit Bank. Zenit Bank. Come. I want to pray for you. You believe in Jesus Christ? Yes, sir. <laughs> the gentleman is shocked. Not everybody fakes this thing, no, my brother. There are people who have paid their price with God. Please stand up. I'm going to pray for you. Where? PZ. PZ. Your days here are numbered. I'm seeing you. I'm seeing them lift you out of this city. It's a very great increase. You believe that? You believe in prophecy? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Was it not your prayer? It is, sir. Is it not your prayer? I'm seeing you praying this thing I'm saying now. 
in the name of Jesus this is your own miracle service I declare by the spirit of grace may that grace that will cause your superiors to favor you and I'm praying I'm using him to pray for someone who has been in a position that is no longer a blessing to you by prophecy help them please I move you to the next season of your destiny in the name of Jesus Christ he said ye have encompassed this mountain long enough turn ye not words there are times where where you are blessed you yesterday but it no longer becomes a blessing today and you must discern the grace that shifts men into new seasons holy holy is the lord god almighty who was who is he does not remain as a god who was there is what god is now doesn't negate what he was but there is his current emphasis and there is who is to come the spirit of stagnation insists that you remain in your yesterday even though time has entered your tomorrow you are in your tomorrow but living in the reality of yesterday whatever has kept you it, yesterday that has refused to leave you there is a string that connects Shapakatuskia, connecting you to yesterday you are entering every year and it's looking like the years passed in the name of Jesus help them please I declare every string connecting you to yesterday I cut it off you now I cut it off you now He says, Behold, I do a new thing. I bless every one of you who is standing here in the name of Jesus the Christ of God that you have come heeding to the call. My friend, look at me. Lift your hands. This one, yes. I'm seeing oil. This, this, this one with handkerchief. I'm seeing oil coming on your head. What do you do? I want to pray for you. God is going to use you. Where are you from? Kaduna State, sir. Stand up. That rejected stone, you will be surprised to see what God will make out of your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare power from heaven, the grace that separates men and consecrates them until they become mighty. May that grace rest upon your life. You will begin to have encounters. I'm speaking it to you. This grace, your eyes will be open to see and to know things in the spirit. I shift you to that realm, the realm of encounters in the name of jesus christ there is power in the name of jesus there are miracles in the name of jesus there is power in the name of jesus Break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Hallelujah. The Lord bless you all in the name of Jesus Christ. Come, Maxwell. There is a training that the Holy Spirit is doing with you. He will make you a very mighty man of God. Very mighty man of God. You will carry a prophetic and apostolic grace to the nations. He's still training you and building you. But in due season, the nations will hear you. You will minister with such levels of power, such levels of grace. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please bring for me the lady that shouts under the anointing now. Bring her. God bless you, gentlemen. Please, you can go back to your seat rejoicing. Please play the strings for me. Anybody with the strings? Let me just speak to that lady and then we'll be seated shortly. In the name of Jesus, the Lord is taking away reproach from your life and your family. I declare by the spirit of grace, reproach. Let this proverb no longer be heard in Israel. In the name of Jesus Christ, who is the son of the living God in the name that is above all names reproach be gone forever for your shame he says you will receive double in the name of Jesus let it be so where you have been deserted so that no man goes through you in fact 
this prophetic word is not only for this lady seasons of shame seasons of reproach there are people what is written on your life is Ichabod it looks like you only have yesterday to comfort yourself there is nothing new happening right now but I declare the seasons of reproach may they come to an end now seasons of reproach come to an end now seasons of reproach come to an end now hallelujah God bless you please sit down if you can will be very fast I'll be praying for the sick shortly madam this woman come the Lord is about to change your story where are you coming from I'm from Zaria here you are from Zaria yes, I want to pray for you stand up please are you alone did you come alone I came with my children where are they they are outside that's all right let me pray for you that's all right I, I want to pray for you mighty things are happening in this place please I like you to be sensitive God is turning people's captivity around what do you do my friend is this your mother what does he do because there is the spirit of leadership my friend look at me I'm seeing the grace for leadership on you huh and God is going to make you a very great leader this is what I'm seeing in the spirit but as it is now there's no job for him he's a graduate but I want to pray for you that God will give you a good job these are your children no problem don't worry even if it's just one or two of them father first i pray for this family madam i'm not a prophet of doom but in the name of jesus i cancel accident from your life it will never be said you were on your way going to the village and that the car capsized where are you from from Kogi state i want to pray for you Amen. because i'm seeing that there is an accident and they will say it's caused by bad road that the road was so bad your car tum literally like tumbled but in the name of jesus don't be afraid we minister life in the name that is above all names i decree and declare ah i'm praying for you but i'm seeing the anointing coming on this lady is this your daughter huh this is my first daughter this is not your daughter or is this your daughter biological daughter my senior sister's daughter that's what i'm saying but i'm praying for you but instead of this grace resting on you, I'm seeing it rest on her. My sister, look at me. I cause witchcraft from your life. As I'm speaking to you right now, in the name that is above all names, I declare by the Spirit of God, everything connected to witchcraft, ancestry, this last row, this one here, there are two people the power of God is coming on because I'm praying this prayer and I saw light. Just this last row. The yoke and the plague of witchcraft. <laughs> Madam, in the name of Jesus Christ, be set free right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. The Lord bless you. The Lord increase you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Now, I will pray for everyone, but God bless you. You can return back. The, the Lord is ministering to me that there is a woman here. Don't be embarrassed, please trusting god for the fruit of the womb this is five years five years is there someone like that i know that there might be a number of people sadly covid may not allow us just to lay hands but i'm going to pray we we'll, would we'll, we'll get into the healing session but i'm seeing a woman this is what god is showing me like five years please if the person is here whether here or in the overflow you can allow the person to come let me pray My head is exalted like the horn of a unicorn. I am anointed with fresh oil. Please stand up. There are impartations that are going on here. My head is exalted 
like the horn of a unicorn and I am with fresh just allow me to do my crazy thing my head that was exalted like the horn of a unicorn hallelujah dr sammy lift your hands i'm seeing a very strong anointing coming on you and the lord is telling me that there is a grace you're going to start having prophetic dreams and the lord is bringing you to greater levels of influence this is something that was in your family and the spirit of god has been looking for someone to carry that grace the lord is announcing to you that that grace is coming on you my hand that was exalted like the horn of a unicorn i am anointed with fresh oil my sister look at me how long have you been married you've been trusting god for the fruit of the womb how about you i'm planning for somebody but my own is almost four years now four years don't worry i know that you're not but since you came out lay your hands on your stomach let me pray for you you believe in miracles look at me my sister you believe in miracles no matter what the medical report is in the name of jesus like eli prophesied to anna i speak to you according to the time of life in the name that is above all names return with your miracle i stretch my hands over you in the name of jesus look at me go and write the name victor in a paper and keep it go Where are you from? From Kogi State. I'm seeing something I've not seen in a long time. Please take it higher for me. Many times, I've not seen this gift anywhere operate. Where God will just open up, I will see the map of Nigeria. And the Spirit of God will show me a region. And the moment I see that region and I begin to prophesy, everybody from that region, the power of God begins to touch them. I don't know how. I've not seen it. I, I, I may not create a doctrine out of it. I believe that is part of the ministry of signs and wonders. And now I'm seeing this map again. And I'm seeing that light going to Kogi State. This is what I'm seeing. Kogi State. Kogi State. Kogi State. The Lord is bringing deliverance. Kogi State. I'm seeing altars. Kogi State. Pela Tariko Sigetia. You reign. You ancient Zion's king. Kadosh, Kadosh. You are mighty on your throne. Kogi State. Altars being uprooted. In the name of Jesus. Eight long captivities sitting on the destinies of men and women by the power that raised Christ from the dead there are men and women of God whose destinies are to be ministers of the gospel but there are altars sitting upon the prophecy of their lives I decree and declare everyone from this region within this vicinity and following online I command by the power that raised Christ from the dead be delivered now be delivered now be delivered now! My dear, it is done. You are from Kogi State now. It's done. Please go. Go and return with your miracle. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please sit down for a few minutes before we begin to pray for the sick. I welcome you to our main miracle service. Isaiah chapter 2 and verse 2. 
Micah chapter 4 and verse 1. You find the same expression, the same rendition. The Bible says, It shall come to pass in the last days that the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established in the top of the mountains and shall be exalted above the hills and all nations shall flow to it. Verse 2. Please, can you play strings? Just play something flowing. Verse 3. Okay. Next verse. And many people shall go and say, Come, let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the God of Jacob. He will teach us his ways, and we will walk in his paths. For out of Zion shall go forth the law, and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. Please listen to me. The end time church is a solution providing center. The end time church is not just the coming together of people to waste the time and the destiny of others. No. The end time church is a center of signs, of wonders, of miracles, of supernatural solutions. The end time church is the church that will translate our secret place and the riches of our encounter into solutions help those outside i told you already overflow one into solutions that our society can relate with can i tell you this your christianity is not complete if your encounters your fastings your prayer does not translate into the life and the power that society can relate with the bible says let your light so shine before men listen carefully that they may see he wants men to see for a long time what we do is we keep fasting we keep praying falling down rolling competing with one another doing all sorts of things and we are not able to translate this god life we are not able to translate the reality of our convictions to a context that the world around us can relate with the word became flesh the bible says and he dwelt among men and we beheld his glory even as of the father full of grace and truth that means the impartations we are receiving the signs and wonders we are receiving listen carefully the encounters angelic encounters all of these things must equip us eventually to present a living christ to our world reveal jesus bring glory to him and improve the lives of people improve the lives of communities that communities regions territories and nations are improved because there are believers within that region he says you are the salt of the earth preservation and value that's the assignment of salt you add taste and you preserve you are the light of the world he says a city that is set on a hill the reason why the world continues to mock the church is because we jump around we fall down we stand up we roll men of god like us now they clap and they call us celebrities apostle joshua selman powerful people but all of these encounters do not have a system of translation where all and sundry those who live within our vicinity to be able to experience the reality of the life of Jesus Christ. The gospel was not designed to just be a message that saves. The gospel was also designed to be a value system empowered with the anointing of the spirit that transforms societies. So that gospel and that Christianity that is only limited to the members of a church or a ministry or a denomination, falling down, jumping, rejoicing, that's wonderful. But let them see you fall down and stand up. And then let's see the benefit of what you got while falling. Let's see how it changes people. Let's see you stand up with a healing anointing that you can step out and go home and go to your environments. Like Jesus said, laying hands on the sick and they are seeing the supernatural solutions. Once it is solution, it will be recognized. Whether it is supernatural, whether it is scientific, it doesn't matter what form it comes. 
every revival you study through church history every revival brought with it physical manifestations of the power the grace the wisdom of god every revival provided it was a move of god it did not just stop at miracles and it did not just stop at healings it brought wisdom to people witty inventions ideas that improve the quality of people the christianity that we propose that does not seem to have any relevance and any bearing as far as our sociology is concerned is an incomplete and an inaccurate christianity so we call people for a miracle service tonight we are not only calling believers we are calling creation to come because he has given us something that is not just for christians he has given us something that is for all his creation the ability to provide supernatural solutions that's why i told you it's not just a healing service not everybody is sick it's not just a deliverance service not everybody is oppressed there are people here what you need is wisdom there are others what you need is direction there are others what you need is a prophetic word to give you guidance there are others what you need is strength upon your inner man there are others like i taught yesterday what you need is salvation there are others what you need is an awareness of your current state to know that this is my state so that you can contend for a higher dimension of grace there are others what you need is encouragement to let you know that what you are doing is correct keep going in that frequency there are some of you what you need is acceleration some of you what you need is repentance to turn back completely because the way you are following will not lead you to the way of destiny so when we say a miracle service don't just limit it to people rising from wheelchairs crutches blind eyes opening those things are wonderful and then impartations we all need impartations remember my teaching please if you were not here yesterday do well to get the teaching yesterday and then you can get the teaching for last month also the thursday i take out time to come a day before as a commitment to see that at least we have that that ability to at least go through that system of mentorship and discipleship for a day before the miracle service the way our system of building has been designed is that for three weeks we spend time laboring building on doctrine building on the pillars the mysteries of the kingdom and then the last friday or sunday or whatever day of the month we now step back and give god an opportunity to come in the midst of his people and provide supernatural solutions for people remember when he preached in the crusade ground jesus now when he was done he healed the sick and did all of that but he noticed they were hungry hunger is a physical need he said no don't let the people go this way they have received the spiritual food he had to multiply loaf and fish to make sure that they were fed so when he comes to you he's interested in every aspect of your life not just your spiritual life then to live your finances not just your finances to live your spiritual life every aspect of your life is his concern are we together so you come here sick then you expect that god would come through as a healer you come here confused you know that he can give you that voice from behind that says this is the way walk in it you come here desiring restoration because you believe time has gone in the economy of god there is a system for restoring things and restoring time you're here because you feel you are moving at a very slow pace it's like a snail like progress you are not exactly stagnating but then your your acceleration is very slow relative to the demands of your assignment and your, the demands of your destiny you will need acceleration there are families that are here and they've been wounded by all kinds a plethora of witchcraft activities you will need the power of god to step in there are people who are here and you just need activations of graces and impartations of other graces 
I told you that results in the kingdom among many other factors by now you should know you've been well taught there are graces allocated for different dimensions of results that we seek influence has a grace that controls it favor has a grace that controls it speed has a grace that controls it are we together visibility has a grace that controls it signs and wonders has a grace that controls it the prophetic has a grace that controls it so you come hungry Lord you have granted me the grace for favor and I am grateful but I need in addition to it the grace for influence not because of some personal self flesh thing no I found out that my assignment and the call of God upon my life will require influence and visibility and so I come to contend for that grace Pastor Nathaniel sang it so powerfully what's that song it's a new song I hope you know it this my people I hope you I'm hungry for you hungry for you I have come to the table to eat I'm thirsty for you thirsty for you I have come to the waters to drink so I'll tarry and not let you go I don't know the other part of the song but very powerful I'm thirsty I'm hungry and I came desperate to sit and wait until I receive what I came for you see let me tell you this every time God engraces a man it is not ultimately for that man the gifts of the Spirit are for the profiting of the body so if God gives one person a grace for influence if it remains with that one person forever you have failed in your assignment you are supposed to be a system of distribution provided there is discernment and there is the meekness to receive through you many people should be benefactors of that grace if God grants you the grace for wealth and abundance it should not just end with you you should be a channel if God grants you the grace for intercession the grace that makes for encounters it should not end with you and so my passion is that when by the privilege of God's grace we receive from others who have gone ahead of us we receive directly from the Lord by the privilege of God's grace we allow these graces to benefit us the recipients but it does not stop there every time we come we've come in the fullness of the grace of this office seeking for as many people he says I long to see you that I may impart upon you some spiritual gift to the end that ye may be established. Without these provisions, you will not be established. It takes more than intellect to fulfill God's divine purposes over your life. Are we together? And just because one or two areas may seem to be going well, does not mean every area is going well. Your assignment is to insist until every area of your life reflects God's counsel so on one hand you commend yourself for the progress you've made in one area but then your hunger remains for all other areas Naaman was the captain of the Syrian army in 2nd Kings 5 the Bible says he was a valiant man in war but he was leprous Abraham was old and well stricken in age the Bible says and the Lord had blessed him in all things so I thank you, oh God, because you have helped me. I have a good job. It's producing this, but now I'm seeing a challenge in my health. And you refuse to let the devil have an upper hand there. I contend by the Spirit of God for sound health, for wholeness. You love the Lord and you find out that spiritually you are pressing into great dimensions of power. But your finances has refused to answer. It just will not answer just when you want to make progress spiritually it draws you back the reality of the needs 
children's school fees all of these things it's time for you to say lord thank you for the progress i'm making spiritually but this area is yet to bring honor to you that's why it takes meekness and humility don't say i have results in one area no is that all that your life can reflect are we together there are some of you here who are men of god women of god great teachers of the word but there is no performance and there is no grace you finish talking and you say let's share the grace the sick go sick the oppressed go oppressed everybody goes back the same way the only thing they live with is a greater level of enlightenment is wonderful but not complete then there are others with signs and wonders just like you see people flying left right and center that's what happens even if you don't talk you just show up and these things happen but people are dull of spiritual intelligence they don't learn anything they fall down they stand up they are still oppressed because the doctrine that builds and establishes that system of methodical mentorship is not there I'm hungry for you I'm hungry for you I have come to the table to eat I'm thirsty for you thirsty for you I have come to the waters to drink I made up my mind that for as long as I live I will seek God and seek every dimension of the kingdom as if I have never tasted of any. It takes the hunger of a starter to finish. It does not, it takes the hunger of it. You know how it is when you start things. That hunger, you must maintain the hunger of a starter no matter what level in destiny you are in. The hunger of a starter. You are a man of God. Thank God for the prophecies. Thank God for God granting you grace. But you must maintain the hunger of a starter. Great ministry. Mighty things happening. But your hunger still remains the same. And sometimes people are tempted to say, what else are you looking for? Well-meaning people. Well-intentioned. But very destructive communication. What are you waiting for? Make reference to my teaching yesterday. You are an unbeliever. Your greatest need is salvation. You are a believer. Your greatest need is transformation. You are transformed. Your greatest need is empowerment. You are empowered. Your greatest need is character and humility. You have all this and you have arrived. Your greatest need is to go back to Jesus again. I'm hungry for you. I'm hungry for you. I have come to the table to eat. I'm thirsty for you, thirsty for you. I have come to the waters to drink. Every time I have the privilege of talking with the Lord, I tell him, I say, Lord, may I never see the extent of my impact. All I want is just for me to know that at least I'm making progress as far as my assignment is concerned one day if christ tarries whether we like it or not through the completion of assignment we will leave this place and pass the baton for others so there must be a sense of urgency the urgency and the hunger of a starter whilst the nations are clapping for you you are doing well appreciate them and you can join them to pat your back for a while but return back quickly and know that every day you are making progress and every day there is hunger the nations are waiting are we together yes you are a man of god in these end times if you do not sustain the ability to understand scripture and to be rich in knowledge the knowledge of the doctrine of scripture the knowledge of christ backed up with superior levels of spiritual power get set for empty pews no matter what you think you are saying i assure you and don't you join people who say crowd does not matter that is nonsense who else should come and listen to you 
crowd is not everything but it is proof that you are doing something right if nobody is following you you are not leading for a long time we continue to wallow around mediocrity explaining our frustrations and lack of results rather than being meek and humble to learn go to them that sell and buy there are people who have results find out what is their business with the spirit that is affording them these dimensions of possibilities go to them that sell and buy every time you don't see results in your life don't sit back explaining it away be humble enough to say i admit I am a man of God. I do not see signs and wonders in my life. Don't just say I'm not called into that area. The pride of mediocrity. Lord, I know there are higher dimensions. I have not seen it yet, but there are people demonstrating it. I humble myself with every sense of meekness that in addition to what you have done in my life, let this be added. That is the spirit that wins. Are we together? You are doing well but your finances are not answering don't give an excuse and say oh no no problem it's just that it's not my will no no you are not getting it the bible talks about philip stepping into samaria and the Bible says the people, he preached Christ there unto them. And they received him with gladness, hearing and seeing the miracles that he did. That should be Acts chapter 8. Let's read it before we start praying. Acts chapter 8, I think. Please give it to us. Acts chapter 8. Verse 4 or 5. Let's start from verse 4 or 5. I think that should be 5. And Philip went down to the city of samaria please look up and preach christ unto them uh-huh and the people with one accord gave heed unto those things which philip spake hearing and seeing is one thing to say but it's one thing for god to back up what you are saying hearing and seeing the miracles which he did what are the miracles the bible tells us for unclean spirits this is a miracle victory over unclean spirits the bible recognizes it as a miracle crying with a loud voice came out of many that were possessed with them and many that were taken with palsies and that were lame were healed miracles deliverances from all sorts of hindrances it's not only spirit influences that impede the progress of men. Any obstacle that will not allow your advancement when you are caught away from it is called deliverance. I've taught you this. And then healings of all sorts. Do you know the kinds of sicknesses that plague people in our world today? And we're not just talking of COVID that is the obvious one now. There are many dangerous and evil diseases that keep eating up people. And right now, there are many doctors here. You can go to the hospital and they will check you from head to toe and say you are fine. And yet you know you are not alright. Losing weight, losing appetite. Satan at work. John 10.10, 10, the Bible says, The thief cometh not, but for to steal, to kill, and to destroy. He said, I am come that ye may have life. And then that you may have that life more abundantly. But it takes hunger there are some of us here who have come traveled from far to receive activations for our destinies you must be very intentional minister prosper has set the stage so powerfully in worship and now all that is left is for you to receive with understanding don't just wait for what god will give you you must use your desire also as a connection point there are things God wants to give you, but most of what he will give you are the things you desire. What things soever ye desire. Mark 11, 24. What things soever, please give it to us, ye desire. It says, when ye pray, believe that thou receivest them and thou shall have them. What things soever. 
it says for everyone that asketh receiveth to him that seeks he will find and everyone who knocks amplified says ask and continue asking seek and continue seeking knock and continue knocking it leaves you with an assurance hallelujah one of the ways i work with the lord is to write down a list of all of the dimensions that he has revealed to me that are necessary for my life and my destiny and gradually but surely begin to pursue those dimensions one after the other with the insistence of a bulldog you've seen how bulldogs hold people and don't go or for bible students the insistence of jacob you hold on to him i will not let you go unless unless i will not let you go lord there are nations waiting to drink from this grace i hold on to you with every i don't want to just go with a salmon alone god is sending you to be an evangelist you should not just go and stand on crusade grounds and waste the time of god's people share the grace and go back no god is calling you to be a businessman it takes more than business ideas and having value that is turned into products and services wonderful but it's limited we live in a world that has been marred by all kinds of prejudices of tribe religion region all kinds of sentiments you will need an advantage that is superior to science an advantage that is superior to commerce for you to be able to last are we blessed you are a student you are trusting god for grace grace to excel grace to advance grace to be established so while it seems like we focus just on those who are sick the reason why we pay dedicated attention to people who are sick is because of this not necessarily because sickness is more superior to all other needs but it is because you see your body is the only legal authorization you have to function in this realm according to the law of territory if you do not have a material body you are an illegal occupant here so when you want to function legitimately you need a body and satan knows that so one of the ways that he drives you out of this realm is to deteriorate this physical body to a point where your spirit can no longer be hosted effectively in that body and it will live in an event we call death that's why he programs all kinds of ills he's found out through experience that the most effective way to exit spirits out of their bodies is to use sickness do you know that every dimension of sickness is a, is is like a wooing of death no matter how simple it is is a wooing of death because it can progress don't be discouraged that you're sick but i assure you if you are sick the goal is not to end in sickness there so you must fight it with every spiritual arsenal within your power take advantage of the grace of god take advantage of all the spiritual provisions the arsenals for victory that have been given to the believer the power of the name the power of the word the power of the blood the power of prophecy the power of prophetic covering all of these tools you engage with intelligence until your victory is established now thanks be to god which causes us always to triumph are we blessed this is why we take our time to pray for the sick if someone is not doing well in his life you can bring the person and spend some time to mentor the person and teach the person he can miraculously rise and within a short time he's covered but if someone is sick and he dies if a woman is barren for many years it's not the best but you are able to pray for her and God will give her twins or triplets or quadruplets. So 10 years becomes compressed in nine months. She can have four children. That one is not birth. That one is restoration. But when someone dies, except by the power of resurrection, that person cannot do anything again. 
you see the law is that every time you come out of this realm someone from this realm must have the power and the intelligence and the ability to call you back there must be someone alive in this realm who can call you back that's what makes jesus unique because nobody in this realm called him back he brought himself back that's proof that he's the real landlord of the earth whoever owns the earth must be able to leave it and come back but every other person who exits this realm you will have to depend on someone who is here to call you back you see why death is a dangerous thing and you see why sickness is a dangerous thing it incapacitates you one of the ways that the spirit of poverty works is through sickness it will appear like sickness but it's not really sickness is the spirit of the waster when you are successful somebody becomes mysteriously sick please don't feel bad if you are here you have a loved one or you are here sick yourself but i'm showing you that most of those things are expressions of the waster people sell their houses they sell their cars they spend years building wealth and everything vanishes within months in response to sicknesses and then up until everything is over then the person just passes on or something happens it's in your bible second kings chapter 4 the bible talks about the wife of the sons of the prophet i'm sure that the man died of sickness and she had to use her children as collateral to manage his situation now he was gone and the creditors were coming to embarrass her and she ran to the prophet my husband was a good man now i'm in trouble they're about to take my children the same thing happened to the widow at name all the men in her life don't last they go her husband and now her only son and jesus dealt with that situation seriously you must be discerning why is it that when good things step into my life just when i get a raise at work for instance all kinds of things begin to happen around my life until everything finishes something must be wrong i engage this with the word i engage this with the blood no excuses hallelujah why do we minister deliverance of people because most of the obstacles that stand before people stand their way of progress as spirits i desired to come to you even i paul once and again but satan hindered us hear me satan can hinder people your destiny helper wants to reach you but satan can hinder them are we blessed and so we have traveled from far and near many of you have written your requests right now many following from different nations different regions you are trusting god for a miracle we have got a few minutes left to pray and it's going to be a quick one now we're going to do it this way i'm going to minister deliverance by the power of the holy spirit like we always do i may not have the time to prophesy uniquely one by one to people but then i will pray and then i will pray generally for those who are trusting god for healing usually would lay hands on people but now just to honor the laws of the land we may not lay hands on people one by one but i will pray for you like we did the last miracle service wherever you are under the sound of my voice i want you to believe that the hand of god will come upon you the moment that happens we'll take a few testimonies then we'll pray over our prayer requests here so be sure to write if you are not if you don't have your prayer request yet you can use a minute or two very quickly to just write down what your expectation is and then we'll speak prophetically and do the impartation and we're done for tonight are you blessed whilst you're seated i'd like you to pray in the name of jesus christ lift your voice and cry to the god of heaven lord visit me you know the category that your needs come under please pray you know the category that your needs come under Talk to the Lord. Some of you, your need is an impartation. I came to contact fire for my fellowship, for my church, for my group. 
for some of you is higher levels of encounters make sure you are praying for some of you is a visitation in your health a visitation in your life don't be distracted outside all the overflows pray for some of us is divine direction some of us is greater levels of illumination we came to access grace out of my belly shall flow rivers rivers of living water out of my belly shall flow rivers leave us of living water out of my belly shall flow rivers rivers of living water out of my belly say shall flow rivers rivers of living water Are you still talking to the Lord? New levels, new dimensions, fresh grace, higher dimensions of unction, greater possibilities in this kingdom. want to see you like a mighty rushing wind we want to dwell under the shadow of your wings we want to see you like a mighty rushing wind we want to dwell under the shadow of your wings we want to see you like a mighty rushing wind. We want to dwell under the shadow of your wings. Blow, blow, blow like a mighty wind. Spirit of victory, cover us with your wings. Love, love, love like a mighty wind. Spirit of victory, power us with your wings. Please rise up on your feet. listen by the grace of God and by the privilege of the election of grace I have, I've had the opportunity to minister to without exaggeration millions of people I have seen what oppression can do I know spirits are real I know they can tie down destinies they can tie down even the people of God this is why he sent carpenters to judge these horns that lift up themselves against Judah against Israel against Jerusalem he said I have sent four carpenters and for most of you you may be standing representing altars you're not just standing here for yourself 
Now I'm going to begin to pray and I want you to bring the people out. We'll have to do this very fast. There are individuals who are standing here right now. You are standing as an individual. But in the realm of the spirit, you are representing even a generation of people. Age-long captivities that are sponsored by wicked spirits. That will just not let people and families go. We are about to pray. Bring those outside. Let's do that very quickly. Father, in the name that is above all names, I decree and declare even tonight, by the power that raised Jesus from the dead, everyone under the sound of my voice who is under any influence and any spirit that is not of the Christ at the count of three I want you to shout that name Jesus the name that is above every other name are you ready one my God two three shout Jesus be gone now by the power of the Holy Ghost Bring them out over families, over destinies. In the name that is above all names, we decree and declare, blotting out every handwriting, every ordinance that spoke against us. He nailed it to his cross. We decree and declare again by the fire of the Holy Ghost upon everyone and everything that is not of the Christ bring them out we are praying the Lord is showing me chains in the spirit chains that have held people down i want to pray everyone who is under the influence of any chain of captivity right now at the count of three may fire land on you and burn those chains one kapaka koskete beketa two parus kete bariatata three in the name of jesus be broken be broken be broken be broken Bring them out. Shake it, take it, take it, Siata. And the legacy could have a ratu Siata. Every spiritual prison locking up people, locking up their destiny. The Bible says to open the prison gates to them who are bound. At the count of three, you will shout that name, Jesus. Ancient doors, ancient prison gates that have tied down families, connected to bloodlines connected to ancestry in the name of jesus as you shout that name may they be destroyed one two three shout jesus help that woman please prison doors be open now Ephata, be open now in the name of jesus please open your mouth in one minute and pray everything connecting you to ancestry by the power of the blood let it be broken please make sure you are praying in the name of Jesus the son of the living God I stand justified by the resurrection of Jesus and by the blood of the lamb they overcame them the Bible says by the blood of the lamb and even the words of your testimony there are whole families under this influence be delivered now whole families be delivered now patterns and circles patterns and circles patterns and circles i curse you by the god of heaven patterns and circles 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Our time is gone. I may not have the time to prophesy, but I'm hearing a name, Jennifer. The Lord is ministering to me. I'm hearing a name, Jennifer. Maybe I'll just pray for that one person before we begin to minister to the sick. Jennifer. I'm hearing that name. Jennifer. Salakatos kati brandigitia. Salata bazaza kete barusi ataba. Where are you from? State. I'm from Imo State, but I Imo got State. married to Edo. What do you have to do with Edo State? My husband is from Edo State. Your husband is from Edo State. I need to pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, everything, I'm not saying your husband is a bad man, my dear. You hear what I'm saying? But in the name of Jesus, anything coming from any region, I stretch my hands in the name of Jesus let there be complete deliverance for you now by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus deliverance for you for your husband in the name of Jesus what is your name Jennifer I need to pray for you What's wrong with your health? I'm going to pray for you. That everything wrong with your blood. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. Look at me. Let it be cleansed now. By the power that raised Christ from the dead. And the spirits that are back of it, I curse them now. All of you in front here. I declare be delivered now. Complete deliverance. Now, everything you have stolen. Pack your Lord and go. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto me. Everything that was stolen shall be restored unto me. Everything that was lost shall be restored unto me. Everything that was stolen shall be restored unto me. In the name of Jesus Christ. That's one. There's one more person. The power of God is coming. Among you people standing there. I'm seeing two of them in my vision. This is one. But there is one more. Among you people standing. The power of God is going to come strong on that person. I cause the workings of darkness. And I release you. Every one of you bound by any kind of chain. In the name of Jesus be released. Be released. There are two of you. There's one more of you. That the power of God is coming on. Very strongly. In the name of Jesus. Now, I'm about to pray for the sick. In the name of Jesus Christ. This lady and one more person. There's one of you. Fire is coming on you. And let's just allow that word come to pass. And then we'll minister to the sick very quickly. In the name of Jesus. All of the... Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Shall we return unto you? Be free right now, all of you who are here. In the name of Jesus Christ. Completely free. In the name of Jesus Christ. Completely free. Now I want to pray for the sick. I believe in miracles. I believe that Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and even forever. I believe he heals. I believe he lifts. You are the lifting God, oh. There's ain't no one like you. You are restoring God, oh. There's ain't no one like you. You are the miracle walker. Hey, say no one like you. Lay your hands where you are trusting God for a miracle right now. As soon as I pray for you, we have just few minutes. 
I'll ask you to check yourself and then you find out a miracle has happened in any of the overflows. I want you to make your way. You come and stand in front here. A few of the ministers will attend to you and will take a few testimonies very quickly. I really believe in the power of the Holy Spirit. If it's a part of your body you cannot touch, please take that woman out. She's going to vomit something. Lay your hands on your chest if it's a part of your body you cannot touch and i want you to look on to jesus believing believing i want you to agree with me with a loud amen as we begin to pray now hold on please the healing power of Jesus Christ is going to begin to flow right now but God is giving me a strange sign usually he gives me all kinds of signs but the sign is giving me somebody is going to literally start running out place your hand I want to pray for you bring that person out but I want to pray in the name of Jesus Christ come on koinonia in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ miracles are happening my God in the name of Jesus Christ every devil of infirmity afflicting anyone here I command that you are gone right now in Jesus name I command be gone right now in Jesus name Now I declare from the crown of your head, even to the soles of your feet, be healed in Jesus' name. Be healed in Jesus' name. Be healed in Jesus' name. Blood conditions, be healed in Jesus' name. Migraine headaches, be healed in Jesus' name. The Lord is healing all kinds of bone conditions. Receive your healing in Jesus' name. Organ failures of all sorts. In the name of Jesus, receive a miracle right now. Eye conditions. Partial blindness. Total blindness. Be healed in the name of Jesus every kind of lump or growth around your body lump in the breast lump around the abdominal region fibroids of all kinds i stretch my hands disappear now in the name of jesus please believe in this prayer something is happening to you there's someone your left foot i'm seeing that i don't know what problem you have the power of god is touching you right now be healed in the name of Jesus. Be healed in the name of Jesus. You have a problem swallowing. I, I don't know what it is that is wrong with your throat and I don't know how long it has been. But right now the power of God is touching you. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Every kind of deafness, partial deafness, complete deafness, be open right now in Jesus' name. Peptic ulcer. I curse you now by the God of heaven. All forms and all types of hepatitis. I command that they disappear from your body now. HIV, be healed now. HIV, be healed now. Cancer, whatever stage. Be healed now in the name of Jesus. Severe bleeding is being healed right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is showing me someone, the power of God is touching you now. It's like, I don't know what the medical condition is. But you are always, it's like your nose is always running like Qatar every time doesn't matter what happens whether it's rain or not the power of God is touching you right now in the name of Jesus Christ a miracle is happening for you now 
I'm seeing someone with persistent, recurrent, pounding headache. This one, I don't know if it's migraine now, what it is. The power of God is touching you right now. Hallelujah. It started for you like constipation. You know what we call constipation? A medical term. But it has remained so. Even after administering treatment, it's brought severe discomfort to your body. Bloating of your stomach. In the name of Jesus Christ, I'm speaking to you by the spirit of grace. Let that devil and that infirmity leave you now. Some of you are standing in for people. You are standing in for loved ones. I'm seeing you lifting photos. Some of you are just lifting your faith. In the name of Jesus, whoever you are standing in agreement with. I declare a miracle for them now some of them are in hospitals may the angel of the Lord's presence go to those hospitals and bring healings and miracles now in the name of Jesus Christ you are always seeing dead people in dreams calling you or eating with you i'm seeing fire coming on you now i don't know who that is but i'm praying for healing but the lord is asking me to minister to that person the connection between you and the grave the grave that keeps calling you in dreams what does the living have to do with the dead i declare be separated now You lie down to sleep and a strange spirit comes to sleep with you comes to molest you and you get up every door that should be open suddenly becomes closed right now shanakatos skatebeleketa soloto prondos kotubarikata makates skatebeleketa every connection between you and any spirit any connection by blood by covenant through ignorance i declare it is broken right now Broken right now, broken right now, broken right now, broken right now, broken right now. Now, whether I mentioned your case or not, be healed in the name of Jesus. Someone having severe pain just around your back area here, in the name of Jesus, the power of God is touching you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ now i'm going to ask you to check yourself and do what you could not do we have a few minutes many of you even before i began to pray for the sick the power of god has touched you very quickly we want to take testimonies inside outside you found out that look at miracles are happening i want you to check yourself and run quickly run quickly are you celebrating jesus please check them you can stand you can separate them into two some stand here some stand there very quickly let's make it very fast Keep coming. Check yourself and come very quickly. Lord, you reign and you rule over all. Unto you we ascribe all the praise. Those coming from outside, allow them coming. Lord, you reign and you rule over all. Unto you we ascribe all the praise. Lion of Judah reigns. 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 that are outside just allow them come very quickly you who are following online you can send in your testimonies the media team will be there to receive your testimonies but we'll take a few testimonies right now make sure you check yourself and let's celebrate Jesus for a few minutes now whilst that is happening hold on please while that is happening please quickly bring out your prayer request bring out your prayer request pass it to the last person at the aisle whether the left or the right just pass it quickly ushers while this is happening some of you pr please join them very quickly and let's have the 
prayer requests collated very quickly. Please be seated for a few minutes and let's celebrate miracles. Yes, Femi. Daddy, while you were giving the prophetic word and declaring over sickness, he had a runny nose for about a year. That the runny road. nose. Yes. And it's gone and right migraine now. migraine gone. In the name of Jesus Christ. Not only is it gone, but I pray that God will anoint you even for the assignments of the season. I pray for you by the power of the Holy Spirit. Experience grace, supernatural grace in the name of Jesus. Yes, please. Sir, so all three of them, or two of them like this, bone issue, bone issue. Two of you. Left leg. Which of the legs? Wrist. How long? Two years. Two, two years. Weeks, yes. Check yourself now. Any pain? No, sir. Not Any pain? Not at Are you celebrating miracles? Walk. Any pain? Jump. Completely. Koinonia. Are you celebrating miracles? How about you? How long? Your ankle. Pain on the wrist. Go ahead. Check it. Any pain? It's gone. In the name of Jesus Christ, for both of you, it will never return again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. I suppose you gave word of knowledge about someone with frozen leg. The leg has been frozen for quite a while. But now Let her talk. My bones has been stiff for a while. It comes on and off on now. After the How long? Years, for, for a while, I can't remember because it's been long. Right now. So now, yes, I can move it. Move your legs. Completely. My God. Look what is happening. Any pain? What's your name? Huh? No. You are say, your name is Lois. But it's not Lois I'm hearing. Who is Miracle? Is that your name? I want to pray for you. What's your name? What's your full name? Lois Miracle. Stand up. Don't cry. My dear, this is the house of God. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, give Miracle a miracle again. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everything that is out of alignment in your life, I command a restoration of it now. In the name of Jesus. Yes, please. Very quickly. Another bone case here. That she has not been able bone to case. work yes, with Bone case. You gave the word of knowledge concerning that. The devil is a liar. Huh? Check yourself now. Any pain. Completely gone. Koinoni, are you celebrating and miracles? The running nose. The running nose. You mentioned running nose. Soon. Oh, you are the lady that was shouting there. In the name of Jesus Christ, that devil that manifests as runny nose, we curse you by the God of heaven. Be gone and never return again. In the name of Jesus. Yes, please. All these ones are several bad pains that you mentioned about eight people there. Please come. Let me, front. I want to hear that mama's she case. Has had, mama has had an ulcer. Hold pain. on, please. Let her talk. Mama? Yes, yeah, ma'am, sir. God bless you. Thank What's you, the sir. situation? Sometimes, as I... As I'm here now, I'm hearing something that is walking inside my stomach sometimes. If you hook me, I cannot carry myself up. I cannot carry myself down. And right now, uh, it's check holding, yourself. It's holding me this side like this. It's coming from my chest. And, and, it, and it inconveniences you. Right now, what has happened to you? Check yourself. Check yourself. Check yourself. Look at a miracle happening for mama. In the name of Jesus Christ. The power of God is coming on you mama. I decree and declare. It will never return to you again. In the matchless name of Jesus Christ. Yes please. My own is back and eyes. Your eyes? Yes. I, I, Where are you from madam? From Abuja. Okay. I was even thinking that I cannot even sit in the church. Because I left Abuja around 7 a.m this morning so throughout today i've been sitting down standing down standing up which i've been giving light duty since last year throughout the COVID uh, period I, i've been on bed rest okay and even now you've I've been, been on bed rest yes throughout I've, COVID period yes i've been in the hospital and in my own house too and what happened then, now now nothing i do i do not use my eye glass i can read oh hold I'm on not... let me see the glasses you had to use this before and right now you can read I read, but I do not and use right it. Now. I no, I do not use it. Oh dear. I wrote and I, I was reading here. Are you giving Jesus praise? Come, madam. It will never return to you. Let me lay my hands on you. In the name of Jesus Christ, it never returns. Yes, please. He so he had an accident and he cannot use his hand to touch you his hand. You had an accident. But now he Give can him use the mic. The hand now. Yeah, I had an accident. From where? From Imeduguri. Where are you coming from? I, I came from Meduguri. You came from Meduguri? Yes. My God. 
So I couldn't lift up my hand or to use up to touch your back. back. Now touch it. Let the devil see it. Look at this. Where your hands could not get to, in the name of Jesus, may God grant you strength to extend your hands there. Financially, prophetically, in the name of Jesus Christ. Sir, this little girl oh came, my in, God, look came at this. in here this evening with very itchy eyes. Very itchy eyes. Whose daughter is this? Her mother. Parents, don't allow a little girl like this to come. And then she's also SS and trusting God for her healing. But also SS. SS. And trusting God for Whose change daughter of is this? Where's her mother? The itchy eye stopped immediately. You declared the word of healing. How do you know? She told you. She told you. The little girl. Come. What's your name? Oh dear, I love children. Come. Children are people of faith, wonderful people. Adults are full of all kinds of unbelief. God will say, go left. You say, which, which leg first? But children will just walk. What's your name, darling? Huh? Sadios. Jesus has healed you. Yes. You are sure? Is your eye paining you now? No. Completely gone. Oh dear. And she's, you said she's SS. Stretch your hands towards this little girl. I know that our time is gone. Pray like you are praying for your own daughter. Father, heal this our daughter completely. She will not die of sickle cell anemia in the name of Jesus. Complete healing for her by the power of the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. God so bless all, you, darling. All Thank these you. four guys they had bone conditions. Immediately declare the bone word. Bone conditions. Yes. Bone wow. issues. In the name of Jesus Christ, I stretch my hands and I declare supernatural healing for you. Amen. The healing is permanent. It will never return to you again in Jesus' name. These are cases of running nose. This brother said immediately you prophesied that word. Something came out of his nose. Let, let him talk. Okay. Since birth, uh, I have. Uh, What's your name? Sunday. Since birth, yes, what happened? I have running nose. The thought is asthma since when I was a baby. Okay. Yes, sir. Constant. Every year I used to have running nose, seasonal. But today when, I, when you were praying, something just came out like thread on my nose. And that's it. Yes, sir. That every tree that has not been planted by our father, may it be uprooted in the name of Jesus. Another one my, nose, same thing with same. you. In the name of Jesus, same thing. Who is that? This lady. Come, my God, you can imagine. Something as simple as that, you can see how many people are being affected. In the name of Jesus Christ, for all of you, it goes never to return again. This gentleman too. In the name of Jesus, my friend, look at me. The power of the Holy Spirit is upon you. In Jesus' name. Be healed completely. Uh, let's just take two, two or so, and then we'll have to quickly do something else. Let him talk. That's why you were praying. Yes. While you were praying, she said she had astigmatism, meaning that she couldn't see. And is that what you, it's called? I, I, I don't know how. Make sure we're saying the right thing. That's is what that she the said. Name? That's what the doctors told her. Oh, okay. That she has astigmatism and she could not see. Okay. She has, I think it's asthma that affects the eye. Okay. And so she could not see. And then right now she says she can see clearly. Clearly. What's your name? Gone. Uh, Zainab. Zainab. You can see clearly. What couldn't you see before? Like, if there is light, I'll not be able to see very well, and I won't be able to read and focus because of headache. And right now, yes. any headache, no. the devil that brought it, it returns back to him. Yes. In the name of Jesus, he returns back to the devil. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over. In Jesus' name. Eighteen years, quick leg healed. Eighteen years. Weak legs. Hold on. Weak legs. Yes, sir. What when, does that when, mean? I, when I was a baby, my legs shrinked, and they said it was a spiritual problem that two two herbal herbal doctors were fighting, and I stepped on it. But two no. herbal doctors were fighting. Uh, yes, and I. Stepped and you on stepped it. in the midst of the fight. Yes. Every fight that does not concern you, in the name of Jesus Christ, that the devil has brought you inside, in the name of Jesus Christ. Any repercussion you are getting from something you have no business with, be vindicated and delivered now. Two herbalists are fighting. 
help them two herbalists are fighting and this young lady just steps into it and what happened to your legs it shrinked like this particular one it was shrinked. okay this one is weaker than this yes but since then every year it kept on recurring in the night I where are you from i'm from i mean kaduna state don't don't worry i understand you're overwhelmed the herbalists are from here no, no, I'm, it's just a, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be sarcastic. I'm just saying, do you know them? Are they relatives or anything like that? Walk. Any weakness? Jump. Try jumping. 18 years. 18 years. In the name of Jesus. And anyone that tries your destiny again, may the earth open and swallow them. In Jesus' name I pray. Thomas, he couldn't speak fluently, but now he can talk. You fluently. couldn't speak fluently. Yes, I was. I'm having. Hold a mouth, on. I, I was having a mouth soda. What's your name? Shola, sir. Shola. Shola. Yes, sir. For how long? For almost a week now. What was wrong with you? Um, I had a mouth so like it was big here, yeah. so okay. I could not. If I want to pray, say, I could not even say anything. I'll and right now. Pray. But not now as uh, Minister Prosper was ministry, something just out in my spirit to shout. And you shouted. And every pain we left. Every pain. <laughs> Completely in the name of Jesus Christ, it never returns to you again. Let's have two from here and then two from there, and then we'll pray for the rest very quickly. Yes, please. Hallelujah. Just talk loud on the mic. My, I feel something on my body was losing on my body like rope that has died. Something was losing like rope. Yes, ma'am. Where are you from? I'm from Nestle State. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everything that has tied you down, I declare it releases you now. In Jesus' name I pray. Yes, now, this is a medical student. She said she was dissecting She's a, a body. medical student. Yes, uh -huh. dissecting a body today and had an attack that affected her breathing, affected her respiratory system. She had had it before, but it happened again today. Let us say it. Okay. Um, I, well, you are a medical student. Yes. Where? Yes. I'm at Bell University. Okay. Area. So I, while growing up, I used to have this reoccurring faint things that, first of all, I'll have tightness of breath. It happened um, during my last session in 200 level. I literally slumped, had, I don't know what they called it. What, what happened now? Today, I was dissecting a body and I started reacting to the formalin. That's what I thought. I started having tightness of breath again. I was like, God, this cannot happen again. I've been having this issue. I, won't, I kept saying it I, like, I can't have this issue come up again. And today, I believed in God for healing. And I, my chest has been so tight. I literally didn't want to come. But a friend of mine said I, I should come. And I thank God and that right I now, have been able to. There's a miracle for you. Yes, I've been in the name of Jesus. The same way God has healed you, you will finish your medical practice. You will become a professional and you will be a blessing to many. In the name of Jesus Christ. We bless you with the finisher's anointing. You will go well. You will return with peace. In Jesus' name. Please, let's have one more. Same respiratory issues, but now gone. Completely gone. Completely What's your gone. name? My name is Peter. Peter, yes. in the name of Jesus, be healed. Completely. Let me hear this gentleman's testimony one last time. This man that I... Yes, go ahead, quickly. I've been having severe back pain for the past two weeks. I cannot bend my back. If I bend my back, I will use... You couldn't system. bend your back. Bend now. Bend. Any pain. Completely. Completely. You mentioned the swallow, please. Someone could not swallow, but now you could swallow his saliva. You couldn't swallow. Why? What happened? Oh, the throat was, was somehow... Okay. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, for all of you who are left, for the sake of time, we may not be able... To pray for all of you we do not downplay miracles here in the name of jesus we declare and even those who did not have the time to come out i declare that your miracles are permanent right now in the name of jesus christ please stand up on your feet stretch your hands to these requests this is the most accurate representation of your desires if you're here yet to submit yours please do well ushers pr let's make it fast so that we can pray Stretch your hands and begin to declare. These Egyptians that I see today, I see no more forever. You don't have to kneel, don't worry. I'll do the kneeling for you. You just stretch your hands and pray. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
Shadabarato Sodoboshe de Ketibalas. Please pray. Pray. Pray from the depth of your heart. Pray. Pray. I will sing unto the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously. The horses and his riders has been thrown into the sea. We will sing unto the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously. The horses and its riders have been thrown into the sea. Lord, impossible miracles by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Let family situations be turned around. You're agreeing with me in prayer. Those following online, make sure you pray that this request in the name of Jesus, it becomes testimony, all kinds of miracles. Testimonies of the marvelous hands of God. Are you praying? Father, let not one request here return unanswered. In the name of Jesus Christ. You are marvelous, yeah. You are marvelous, yeah. You are marvelous, yeah. Marvelous, yeah. Marvelous, yeah. Marvelous, yeah. You are marvelous, yeah. have recorded untold almost unbelievable miracles in this house that have come before God here at this altar of prayer lives turned around destinies altered families that have been benefactors of the mercy and the grace of God and right now I bow my knees to the father of our Lord Jesus Christ and I decree and declare that every request here that has come before the Lord here let it be turned to a testimony I decree and I declare that every human agent that must come in partnership with the Holy Spirit to make this request answered may the Lord convict them to participate with prophecy and every human agent that is under the influence of spirits and is allowing these requests to continue we separate them from the influence of those spirits father arise like the mighty god that you are turn things around let your people return with tears some testimonies may fire fall upon this request from heaven like it did upon the sacrifice of elijah and Lord, I pray that these Egyptians we see today, we see them no more forever. We see them no more forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Before I do the final impartation, I just feel stirred in my heart to quickly do the altar call. Usually I would do the impartation before the altar call. But the Lord is just placing it in my heart right now. Keep standing, please. No sitting. We have two minutes for you. Overflow one, two, three, extension down to the road, following online the main auditorium. You are here and you are saying, Apostle, I really want to make a decision for Jesus. Probably you've been a Christian before and you want to rededicate your life. Or you are here and you are saying, I want to make this decision. Wherever you are, please leave your seat very quickly. Come and stand here. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Stand, please. Stand. Stand. He's not the only one coming. Please, quickly. Are you coming? 
If they are coming from outside, allow them very quickly. Jesus is calling you. Win that war tonight. Make up your mind. For the way of the Lord is the way of wisdom. I choose the way. For the way of the Lord is the way of wisdom. Apostle, I want to come out, but I'm not sure. I think I'm born again. If you are not sure, join them. Join them in the name of Jesus and join them quickly. Apostle, I want to come out, but I'm ashamed. My friend is laughing at me. Jesus said, if you are ashamed of me before men, I will be ashamed of you before my father. Join them quickly. We have just a few seconds. You are coming from outside. Run like there's fire on the mountain. Join them. Very quickly, please. Very quickly. Jesus said, ye must be born again. Ye must be born again. The global harvest is a mandate. It's a debt we must pay. We must consistently see to it that Jesus remains revealed. Hallelujah. Now, for all of you who are here, overflow three now and all the overflows those who are standing in front of their projector screens and then those following online from whatever part of the world i'd like you to lift your right hand high to heaven and then we'll pray this prayer let it be from the depth of your heart you're not reciting a poem say lord jesus tonight i believe that you are my savior you are my lord you are my king i believe that you died for me you rose again for my justification tonight consciously and intentionally I make Jesus my Savior my Lord and my King I receive forgiveness of my sins and I receive the life of God I also receive the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness and I declare that I reign with Jesus from today I am a child of God I go forward ever and backward never amen keep the hands lifted father thank you in the name of Jesus I decree and declare According to the authority of scripture, I declare your sins forgiven. I declare that you are benefactors of the life of God. The grace to live an empowered and an effective Christian life. I release that grace upon you. And then I commend you to the ministry of the word and the ministry of the spirit. For your growth, for your advancement and your efficiency in the kingdom. I declare by this prayer that you go forward ever and backward never in the name of jesus amen and amen thank you so much for the courage to make this decision now very quickly i want you to follow where are they there's a gentleman waving his hands i'm sure there will be someone else at the aisle please follow them there will be ushers directing you there will be a group of people who will receive you for a few minutes and you'll be back to your seat let's celebrate them while they go is this the best you can do for them hallelujah now please lift your hands let me just speak the blessing over your life and then we'll take the announcement just few minutes and we're done in five minutes max we're done for tonight hallelujah now before i pray this prayer of impartation let me encourage you please make sure that you are a soul winner for a long time this place has become a prophetic platform for God to raise people to heal people to deliver people ensure that at every time every week there is somebody who you are bringing to call upon the name of the Lord and for their spiritual growth 
and efficiency are we together now do well to invite people and make sure that you come with your heart opened the lord is expanding us but at the same time we must ensure that the work that is committed is efficient and god is helping us are we together now i want to use this opportunity to salute all the great leaders in this house and all that they continue to do when i'm not around please make sure that make sure that you continue to participate fully with all of your heart sometimes you notice we connect you here to abuja that is so that you can join the flow and um by god's grace this place remains an apostolic and prophetic center where god is discipling nations raising mighty men and some of you are the next people to collect this baton you see others gave it to us and we must pass it on to others but it is required in stewards that a man be found faithful you must open up yourself to learn to be mentored to be built in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare favor like you have never seen may it rest upon your life goodness and mercy may it follow you all the days of your life in the name of jesus christ the grace for influence the grace for visibility i decree and declare upon you and upon the works of your hands may that grace rest upon you now I pray for your spiritual life especially for those of you who it has gone down your prayer life is not quite the way it should be or many of you are trusting God for higher levels of intercession prayer fasting may that fire land upon your life now the discipline to study scripture the discipline to learn doctrine that makes for the maturity of the saints I impart that grace upon you in the name of Jesus Christ every wrong association in your life recycling pain recycling seasons of defeat i cut you away from those associations forever in the name of jesus everyone here trusting god for a, a good and an honorable job i stand in agreement believe what i'm saying in the name of jesus who is the christ of god may you return by next miracle service with a testimony in the name of jesus christ i pray for you as you travel by air by sea by road no demonic kidnapper will have access to you or your loved ones and then i pray that you will not be a victim of any kind and any form of accident the bible says he keepeth his bones and none is lost none is broken in the name of jesus you are preserved Amen. may the grace that makes for honor the grace that distinguishes you even among your contemporaries may that grace rest upon you Amen. i pray for your family members wherever they are across this nation and across the globe in the name of jesus christ by the ministry of angels we declare their preservation Amen no one here under the sound of my voice will die before their time i say it again that no one here under the sound of my voice will die before their time thou shall not be afraid of the arrows that fly by day nor the noisome pestilence in the name of jesus christ the destruction that wasted at noonday i declare that a thousand shall fall by your side and 10,000 by your right side but none shall hurt you with your eyes will you behold and see the reward of the wicked every helper of your destiny in this season I command them to show up for you the gift that God has given you to serve your generation with that holds your relevance your honor your fulfillment I pray for you in this season may that gift find visibility Amen. those of you in business in the name of jesus may the lord grant you wisdom Amen. can i pray over your finances in the name that is above all names by the mercy of the god of heaven 
I pray for you. Supernatural supplies by the Spirit. Strategic favor connections. May God bring men and women who are interested in your well-being. They will invest their credibility. They will invest their resources in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I pray for you. Every spirit of lukewarmness. That wants to affect your spiritual fervency. Hence your progress in the spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. I declare it departs from your life now and forever. More particularly, I pray for those of you who have come from far. As you return, you return in the power of the Holy Ghost. I place a seal upon you. Even as we prepare to step into the sixth month of the year, everything that was preordained from January till now that has not yet found visibility in your life, in this month of June as you step into it, I call upon the God of my covenant. Every one of them must be featured in your life. In the name of Jesus. We believe you are mightily blessed. To connect with the ministry and get more from Apostle Joshua Selman, follow us on Facebook and Twitter at Koinonia ENI to stream Koinonia Live. Go, Go to mixella.com forward slash Koinonia hyphen radio and download the teachings on koinoniadownloads.org. For questions and inquiries, call 0814-721-4444 or 0907-777-7853. We love and celebrate you.